Hey everybody, thanks for taking the time to tune in. This is Ty. I'm going to be talking about LightPay. We're going to look at the website, some real in-depth details about it, what I think about it, and some concerns I have with it. So let's go ahead and take a look right into it. Those of you that are invested in Litecoin or follow the Litecoin price has seen it actually just completely explode. LightPay was announced in mid-December and we see the price just completely go up. And a lot of people contribute it because of LightPay. And so what is LightPay? LightPay is a kind of a crypto debit card system where you can spend your Litecoin to any vendor that accepts Visa. These vendors can also accept Litecoin and join the partnership with LightPay. Looking at the website, it's really basic. I'm, I'm a little disappointed on how basic it is and there's really not any information on it. You have to really dig to find any information about LightPay because you're not going to find it on the website. You can look at the website at lightpay.us, but you're not going to get a whole lot of information right now. The LightPay is supposed to release on February 26th. And they will be servicing 41 countries then, the U.S. included, plus the U.K. And I'm not sure any of the other countries because they have not announced. But they will cater to the U.S. dollar and the euro. They said also there will be 70 countries pretty soon. So 30 countries in addition to the 41 countries on release. They've got a lot to do and they really haven't made a whole lot of announcements. So here's the website. Like you say, it, it's really basic. I highlighted some important details that I could find because there's really not much to it. One thing is a vendor can accept Litecoin as payment. So you'll be able to use the card anywhere that Visa is accepted and then they're just going to pay that just like a Visa debit card or something like that. But a vendor can accept Litecoin and you'll get a reduced fee. This is a pretty big deal for vendors because when I owned a company, I had credit card processors coming all the time and saying, okay, hey, I'll offer you, you know, 2.4%, 2.3%, and those tiny 0.1% can make a difference. But if a vendor just takes the three, uh, just the, as a normal debit card and doesn't have light pay set up, is not taking the light coin, then it's just gonna be the normal 3% fee. And then if they do take Litecoin and accept that as payment, there will actually only be a 1% fee. Here's the deal on that, which I don't quite understand. And it's not explained is, is that 1% fee charged when you accept that Litecoin? So they're going to take 1% of that Litecoin or is that 1% charged when you turn in the Litecoin for fiat? It, that makes a difference because if they give you a Litecoin without a fee, then you can, you know, I guess transfer it to GDAX or something like that and deposit it with USD for no fee. So I'm guessing it's going to be a fee on the Litecoin before it accepts. And if you do accept the fiat currency, one thing they have stated is as soon as that, that transaction goes through, they're going to calculate it in USD right away. The next thing that is kind of big for a vendor, it's not necessarily too great for the customer using the debit card, but it's big for a vendor, is the Litecoin customer can pay without handing over sensitive personal information and refunds are made through the merchant, no chargebacks. So those of you that have American Express cards or other some credit cards, you know that you can, if like there, if there's something wrong with the item, you can charge it back through the credit card and they basically give the money back to you. And so if you, ha if there's something wrong with the merchandise, you are going to have to settle it with that vendor. There is no third party altercations of settling that part of it. It handles direct deposits for a vendor. And so if you're accepting Litecoin, at the end of the day, it probably batches everything together and then direct deposits that to your account. There's just a simple little chart. So if I wanted a Litepay debit card, I'm going to load up Litecoin onto it and then I can kind of spend it where I want. There will be invoice. You can use the debit card. And then you can also like email it. I'm sure use the app as well. So you're just going to load that app together that's tied to the debit card. It, there's really nothing else on this website with it. If you want to say like get started, uh, it says it's not really released yet. It's releasing on February 26th. Enter your email. I went ahead and entered my email. Just to be curious of what emails I might get. The only other information I was able to find on the website is the docs. 
Um, like, you know, there's just there's just not a whole lot. It's it's really disappointing on that. Settlement payments for merchants happen automatically every day. So if you're a merchant and then you're accepting that Litecoin and then transitioning into USD, then it's going to add up all your transactions and then deposit into the bank. It kind of makes me think when you use the debit card, it transfers it into USD at that exact moment for how much that USD is worth if you're accepting the cash option because there are some things on the website that kind of state that. And then it says settlement USD is available for ACH. It's going to ACH and then you'll get it two business days later. Uh, there is a minimum of $20. They're not going to send you a whole bunch of like 50 cent transactions. That just doesn't make sense to them. Litecoin settlements, they said it will be supported in 70 countries, probably more countries because it's a lot easier to accept Litecoin because it's a worldwide basically cryptocurrency. And settlements is paid daily to your Litecoin address on file. The minimum settlement is 0.01 Litecoin. And, you know, that's that's really basically it. There's a couple other things that I highlighted. They do have a converter on the website that keeps up to date. We only utilize exchanges which meet our operation and regulatory requirements. What I'm thinking is they're going to take a lot of the large exchanges that have a lot of volume and then average the price out to get the volume of USD. They did say something about slippage and to our exchange rates, the larger the value of the invoice, the lower the exchange rate. So you have like a lot of high ticket items, a couple thousand dollars, you might get a better rate. They don't say what that rate is. Is that going to be less than 1%? I don't know. They just don't say a whole lot. You can look at the LightPay Twitter and they have 14.9 thousand followers. I'm guessing it's quite a bit to do with Charlie Lee. He did tweet this and there's been a, a decent amount of publicity about it, but there's really not much reason they should have so many followers because they're not active on this at all. They've only had two tweets since they started it, which doesn't make sense. It says there's 43 tweets. I don't know if it just, that's weird. They've only had two tweets and they've got 15,000 followers. But I'm sure that it mostly is because of Charlie Lee. There was an article on Express. This didn't say a whole lot, but it gave a little more information than on the website. But just nobody has much information right now. It says the cryptocurrency is stored on a digital wallet where you can manage your Litecoin payments and activity and load coins onto your LitePay Visa card. I highlighted everything that seemed kind of a little bit important or extra detail that I couldn't find on the website. But like I said before, it's going to be like a debit card tied to a light pay wallet. And so you can just light, load up Litecoin on that. The next thing is uh, I've never used BitPay. So but those of you that use BitPay, I guess there is a five dollar transaction fee every time you transact. This will be a much better deal for transaction fees. It talks about the light pay launch. It is February 26th. They've got a lot to do. If they're doing 41 countries and their website's nothing, they have no information. I don't know if they're just really, I guess they're just releasing all of this at once. Retailers do not have to worry about price volatility because the payment can be converted into dollars immediately. It says on the website it's paid out daily. They don't want to, have to make a whole bunch of direct deposits to a bank. So that's why I said I think when you pay with Litecoin, it's converted to USD and then paid out. It's converted to USD instantly, whatever that exchange rate is and then paid out to your bank account later that day. This is kind of interesting. It says when businesses accept cryptocurrency at a given price at a given time, they will pay that final value. They do not have to be concerned about any price changes. The only other things that I could find was uh, the light pay visa card can be used wherever visa cards are accepted. We already know that, but light pay will charge a flat 1% fee per transaction versus a normal 3% fee with a credit card transaction. So if you are a merchant and you accept light pay, then you will have, I guess, a little bit lower fees versus just a regular credit card transaction. The CEO had a interview and he did talk about how they operate kind of like a bank. They do all the same things that the bank does with the regulations and with a vendor so if you're a vendor you are going to have to go through kyc and then have all the same information that you have to give a bank they do a thorough investigation 
with all vendors that are going to be set up with Litecoin. So there's just not some Joe Bob that has LightPay. And I don't know, like I said, what kind of uh, investigation they do, but they do require all the same amount of information that a bank does. But this is basically all. Then they talk about what Litecoin is and how it's kind of affected the price. But this is about all. There's I found a little bit more information on Reddit, but there's not a whole lot of information about LightPay. I don't know why there's so much talk about it. I think because Charlie Lee tweeted about it and he has showed a lot of support. So is the Litecoin Foundation and the media has talked about this quite a bit. The main goal of this is to, as the CEO talks about in the interview, is to bank the unbanked. There's over 5 billion people that does not have access to bank accounts. But if you have a cell phone and it's easy to get Litecoin, if you have a cell phone, that's basically all you need to be able to have kind of your own bank where you can go anywhere that accepts a visa. So I think the main goal is to not just spend the Litecoin, uh, you know, because a lot of people don't want to spend their cryptocurrency. They want to save it, but it's to bank the unbanked. Another thing about this that concerns me is this is rolling out in the U.S., but current tax laws with the U.S., anytime you transfer or spend that cryptocurrency, it is a taxable event on your gains. So if you're going to be using this to buy a whole bunch of coffees or something like that, then I mean, you could have hundreds of taxable events. Think about how many times you use your debit card. This sounds like a complete tax disaster at the end of the year, but a lot of people might not realize there is no information on this on the site, but you have to think about that. But our current tax laws with cryptocurrency is every time you spend it or you use it, then it is taxable on your gains. I think these laws might change and i hope they do because it is absolutely ridiculous charlie lee has also talked about raising that to anything over 500 dollars could be taxable anything under is not taxable i hope that they listen and they do something like that because cryptocurrency as a currency in the u.s is almost is it's almost non-existent there's no way you can because of this law the ceo of lightpay his name is Ken Asari, where he talks about how it's important for the unbanked to have banks. And it seems like a really cool guy, real down to earth. Uh, one thing I didn't like really what he said, but I can see why, because he might be worried about telling people to invest in cryptocurrency. He does say in the interview that cryptocurrency is not something to invest in. It is something for currency. And he made that very clear even when the interviewer repeated what he said. But take a look at the interview. I'm going to link this on the bottom. Also, what do you think about LightPay? Are you going to try and get a little LightPay crypto card? Do you think the Litecoin price is justified with LightPay? Or do you think this is actually why Litecoin has risen so much? Is this a bigger deal than it really is? Thank you for watching. I would appreciate if you like, comment, and especially subscribe. I always get back to my comments and I appreciate you taking your time to watch this video. Thank you.